Good afternoon, I'm Jodie Gill and this is your Midday News Fix for Thursday the 21st of September. New Zealand is officially out of recession. Stats NZ says our GDP rose 0.9% in the three months to June and 3.2% in the year to June. The increase was driven by exports rising 5%, led by dairy, forestry and meat. Business services were up 2.1% and public administration, safety and defence up 28 Agriculture, forestry and fishing was down 23 and retail, trade, accommodation and restaurants down 1%. A rebels gang boss is apologising for the assault at a gas station in Coromandel last week. A video shows at least a dozen gang members assaulting a group of three men on Tiki Road. The North West Chapter President contacted CFM, Coromandel radio station, and issued an apology on air last night. I would like to formally apologise personally on, on behalf of the Rebels Northwest chapter for our harmful behaviour. We understand and sympathise with the, the harm that this unfortunate incident has caused. The man says police need to ask why the victims aren't making written statements and who threw the first punch. Queenstown Lakes District Council says it's committed to addressing a compliance order served by the National Water Regulator. 18 cases of a gut parasite, Cryptosporidium, have now been confirmed in the resort town this week. Authorities are unsure whether the public water supply is the source of the outbreak, but a precautionary boil water notice is in place. District Mayor Glenn Lewis says councils developed a plan to engage with public and deal with not having a protocol as though a barrier at the treatment plant. My focus is meeting those three requirements for compliance order as quickly as possible. A visit to the Hastings Watties factory for Chris Hipkins. Chief political reporter Aaron Darman is following the Labour leader. Chris Hipkins is taking a trip into the big freeze, dressed from head to toe in overalls, packing frozen veggies likely to benefit from his party's 15% GST slash. But Hipkins will be feeling the chill after last night's One News variant poll put National on 37%, 10 points ahead of Labour on 27 a mixed bag of weather could make or break efforts to contain a major fire near Twizel. Seven helicopters with monsoon buckets are now at the blaze at Pukaki Downs, which broke out before 8 o'clock last night. Diggers are working on fire breaks alongside ground crews. In sport, reports have emerged from Kenya that band runner Zane Robertson's been arrested in possession of an unlicensed AK-47 rifle and 23 rounds of ammunition in his house. Bayern Munich, Arsenal, Real Madrid, Napoli and RB Salzburg have posted wins to open the new Champions League football campaign. Dallas, Fort Lauderdale and New York will host cricket matches at next year's 2010 T20 World Cup, which will be held in the United States and West Indies. I'm Jodie Gill and that's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at 5pm from the News Talk ZB newsroom.